Hey, what's up, people of YouTube? This is Grow Me Something Mister. Welcome to Bright Day Gardens. It's time for the August garden side chat. No Howard just yet. I think he said um, mid September he'll be back. Uh, something like that. So we'll see, depending on the timing, if he gets back. And when I make the next garden side chat, we have three entrants. I think we have one new person. And here we go. Three of them. Three questions, none through email. And three right there. Oh. And what I did was, just so y'all know, um, I, I put down the questions on a sheet of paper and then I start to answer them. That way uh, I can actually try to give some informed information instead of just guessing without being prepared. So, let me get this off me. Here we go. Three questions. Got it. Uh-huh. So, y'all know this thing don't work here. I can't get that to work. You gotta get Howard to do that. But uh, this is by Lucky Do Garden. And she wants to know, or this is what she says in the question. Deer are eating my mushrooms. Any ideas on keeping them away? Electric fence, maybe? So, uh, Miss Lucky Do, there you go. Congrats on uh, winning uh, this month. Um, so, I went and looked it up about uh, keeping deer uh, out of an area and I've heard about uh, some of these things before um, let me just first say there's those commercial sprays that you could spray around to, like an invisible fence if you want to call it that um, I hear those things don't work all that well that the, the deer would just go past it um, you could try it if you want I wouldn't try it because I hear that that they don't work um, one of the other things that people get and I know you have some but I believe yours are inside dogs uh, dogs, um, you can use that, you know, a dog in your area for, uh, for your mushroom area to keep the deer away. Uh, but like I said, I don't think you keep yours uh, outside, in particular in that particular area, to keep uh, the deer away. Um, the other thing that I've heard people use uh, just in general um, is uh, human hair that you could take, uh, like, whenever you get your hair cut or if you go to uh, like a barber shop or something like that, you can collect the hair, talk to the owner or whatever, see if they'll give you, um, so you take the hair clippings and you make that like a, um, like a fence, uh, the human hair, of course, because the deer would be scared of the humans, they don't want to go where they are, uh, just make sure that you put it to where they don't just go flying away, uh, like on a windy day and it flies away, then, you know, it scatters it and then you're kind of stuck without that fence, um, other than that, I mean, I guess maybe an electric fence, but deer can uh, jump, I think, six feet, six to eight feet. So if you put up any type of fence, um, it's, it's probably got to be between eight and ten feet high. And uh, that could be costly at that point, uh, as I'm sure you might know. I don't have any other suggestions as to what to do to keep the deer out of your area. There is, there is one other thing. Um, just thinking about it. There is something that gardeners use to keep deer away. It's a, uh, like on a timer or a... Uh, motion activated sprinkler so that the deer come into a certain area the motion activates a sprinkler that shoots water like it's sprinkling out your lawn um, and I've heard that that works pretty well you just have to make sure that you keep the water on you keep it set with the timer with power um, because it doesn't work if it doesn't sprinkle but I, I did uh, see someone using that in his garden and it did work but like I said um, it worked as long as he had it powered up and not turned off. So that's that, uh, Mr. Lucky Do. I hope that helps you. Anybody has questions, you can uh, leave them in commentary down below. You can also email me, either which way. No politics, no religion, of course. It could be about uh, anything. And it's not that I have this infinite wisdom and y'all just need that infinite wisdom. It's more of a garden side chat. And if something you want to know about me or if you want me to look up something for you, just put in commentary down below and uh, we'll draw your name out the hat. So, alrighty, thanks for watching. This is Grow Me Something Mister. And remember to, um, I don't have an exit on yet, so see you later, buddy.